all right all right all right scooter fam it's your boy john q coming at you with another with another um with some more content on the roadrunner tronic and um i know i mentioned in my last video and as you can see i got me some vinyl vinyl roadrunner stickers on the side there meet me and uh as i mentioned in my last video just doing a little walk around inspection to make sure all my lights in, are in order. I got my fluorescent vest on. I don't know if you can see me in my mirror. Hi, that's me right there. So, so as I mentioned in my last video, you know, I took the Roadrunner Tronic out for a spin. Let me power her on. I've been, you know, I've been, I've been feeling my way around it, getting used to this low profile uh, stance of riding and things like that and um and you know and, and while in the process of doing that and i'm gonna I'm just ride and talk and hopefully you can hear me and in the and in the process of doing that i've been trying to make sure that um i learn how to work the settings for the vest tool because the vest tool it pretty much gives you options to tweak the tronic controllers and uh and i just recently um had a one-on-one -on -one with, with a good friend of mine who talked to me about some of all the things that i needed to do in order to tweak the controllers i mean in order to tweak the setting and um and i said in my last video that i wasn't 100 percent for sure whether or not i had all of my settings on max I'm not 100% for sure if I have all of my settings completely turned up. I'm not sure about it. But I know because I'm not, I'm not familiar with the VEST app and, and how to completely tweak my Roadrunner Tronic right now so that I can get its maximum potential or maximum ability. I don't, I'm not for, familiar with that yet. I've been studying that. That's what I've been researching and saying to myself, well, okay, well, what do I need to learn in order to completely tweak all of my settings so that I can get the best performance out of the Roadrunner Tronic for my height, my weight, etc. cetera. Uh, unless I learn more, then I can tell you more. But I, I don't know enough to tell you the 100% the facts about it right now. And, uh, and, and I now know that I did not have all of my settings on max. In fact, my front wheel, the current was set on only 150 and the back wheel, the current is set on only, 100 and, only 225. I mean, no, it was set on 220. And, um, and the max four that I could have the current set on for both, both uh, uh, tires is, is um, 225. And yeah, even with a 72 volt, 28 amp hour battery, I could still get faster speeds. You know, however, the chatter in the comments that, that you know, that, that were sparked after that last video, they were pretty much in line with, no, your battery is too small. You know, you're, you're not gonna be able to get that much more out of the Roadrunner Tronic. And so what I've done today and I'm going to reduce my settings to back where they were because 50 miles per hour, 50, 50 miles per hour or a little bit better is, is perfect for me on the Roadrunner Tronic. See, because with a 72 volt battery at 50 miles per hour, I can get mad range out of my rides. And this low profile setting is, is, makes it makes it so much so easy for me to stay out of the way of traffic and and you know and maintain the appearance as if i'm riding a bike you know a regular bike and so i have no problems whatsoever uh, i'm gonna put my lights on flashing my headlights that is and these were pretty inexpensive light set light set that i got and I'm going to turn on my speed view because I've turned up my I've turned up my settings. And so the speed is going to be somewhat slightly faster because I haven't maxed them out once again. I've only turned them up moderately. 
So let's turn on speed view and uh, see if we can get a little bit of footage here of how fast this thing can take me since I've tweaked up the settings just a slight bit. I know it's going to be faster than what it was. How much faster? I don't know. But I know I'm not going to kill myself out here and I know I'm not going to blow up my machine just so that I can share with you guys a speed ride. <laughs> I know you guys wouldn't want me to throw away $4,500 just so you can see how fast I can ride this little monster, right? Right? Or would you? <laughs> so, we are here at the road and we are about to take our journey. Got away from the new neighbor. Wow. I can already tell it wants to spin wheels. So out the gate, gotta put my helmet down because the wind is already trying to take my face off. Gonna do a light crouch. nice and hot out here today but guess what <laughs> yes it's already I can already tell that it's faster than what it was but I'm not gonna push it I'm not gonna push it no faster than I already have I'm gonna just show you just a little something that's it So, that's fast enough for John Q. I don't need to go any more faster than that on this little small bike. Now you guys can take that and do with it whatever you like. But me, I'm not gonna kill myself on this little small bike. Wait, that rhymed. <laughs> Wow, and I only tweaked it up. This is not running, it's still not running at its max output. Still not running at its max output. This is, I mean, this should be impressive. And for all you guys who are still saying that it's overpriced, <laughs> whoo, boy, are you guys sleeping on, y'all, you guys are really sleeping. You guys are really sleeping on the Tronic Road, on the Road Runner Tronic. If you said this is overpriced, honest to God, you are sleeping. You are definitely sleeping on this this machine.